Hello and welcome to Battleground Bihar. This is a big election and Shekhar, Dorab and I have been traveling around this eastern part. We're here in Bhagalpur. It's the eastern part of Bihar. We're on the banks of the Ganga and let me tell you, whatever you are, whatever you believe in, whether you're an atheist or not, there is a special feeling here, isn't there? There's something special about being on the banks of this beautiful river. And believe it or not, this spot right here has got hundreds of dolphins. And we actually shot some of those dolphins earlier today. Uh, it's amazing, most people think that Ganga is too polluted to have fish, but you've got dolphins actually being nurtured here and playing around all day. And this is, these are one of the many ghats uh, along the Ganga in Bihar. Uh, look at this most beautiful temple. There are many like this, and one often wonders why this lovely state, and it's becoming more beautiful by the day, is not publicized more, doesn't attract more tourists. But that's another story. The main story we are here to talk about today are these elections. Is Nitish Kumar going to win again, or is Lalu going to be the next chief minister? Thank you very much. Just to remind you once again, we're in Bhagalpur. This is in the eastern part of Bihar and we're on the banks of the Ganga. And it's one of the most beautiful ghats that you'll ever see. It's quite magical here. And I've got two magicians with me, Shekhar Gupta and Dorab Sopariwala. We're trying to understand what's happening in this election, who's going to win and why. What are the main issues and what's changed about Bihar? But before we look at the change, Let's have a look at the current situation. Now, here's what happened in the last assembly elections. That's way back in 2005. Nitish came through, remember, with 143 seats. At that time, Congress and Lalu were fighting together. And together, as allies, they got 65 seats. And Ram Vilas Paswan fought on his own, and he got a creditable 13 seats. Let's fast forward a bit now to 2009 in the Lok Sabha elections. Alliances had changed, Congress fought on its own, Lalu and Paswan fought together and this is what the result looked like. If you look at the assembly segments in the Lok Sabha election that Nitish and the BJP won, they won in fact 175 assembly seg segments, that's out of 243, that's a huge clear victory. Uh, Lalu and Paswan, that's RJD and LJP, won 38 seats and the Congress won 10 seats with 10% of the votes. Not particularly encouraging. So what's happening this time? That's the base. This time we have a three-corner fight and it's exactly the same alliances as the Lok Sabha election. We've got the BJP and Nitish fighting together. We have the Congress fighting on their own and we've got Lalu and Ram Vilas Paswan fighting together. So it's a three-corner fight. And let me tell you, it's not a walkover. Now, what is really needed for Lalu to actually win this election? A pretty huge swing is needed away from Nitish. Nitish, compared to the 2005 assembly election, he still needs a 7% swing away from him to lose this election. And that's a big, big swing. Uh, so Nitish is pretty comfortable, but remember the anti-incumbency effect. Dora, you've been traveling around, you've heard speeches, you've talked to people. You believe or believed in the anti-incumbency effect. Is that visible this time? Frankly, on the road, on the when you look at things, it's not that visible. I mean, today we were traveling on roads that could match roads almost anywhere in the country under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Phenomenal roads when you go to You're meetings, saying Bihar roads are yes, good? Yes, they were terrific actually. We haven't seen roads like that. There wasn't much traffic on them. 